guys, it is Jazzy, and today I'm here with... TJ Adams. Here goes Mr. Davies. What's going on, guys? I'm here with... Davies. Sadiq Saunderson. And... Shamik Moore. Well, nice to meet you guys. Imani DC. I play You God on the Wu-Tang series. And... Jaquan J. Kelly, a.k.a. Master Killer. Marcus Callender. And... John L. Young. Wow. Well, <laughs> how are you guys doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? I'm blessed and abundant. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking, guys. <laughs> well, who is your favorite member from the Wu-Tang Clan and why? Okay. Uh, my favorite member is Ghostface. Um, I just think his storytelling is unmatched. Um, it, it just always sounds like he's having a conversation with you. Well, how about you? Um, I'm going to have to piggyback with Marcus. It's, <laughs> it, it's a tie between Ghostface or Jizza, my character. The way Ghostface puts his words together, the way his, his lingo comes in, but then also Jizza, the, the substance that he's talking about that we could use today in this world. I just love how he, his wordplay. Oh, dirty bastard, because there's no father to his style, you heard? <laughs> Method Man, he was, he was the hardest in the group, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> meth, man. I'm going to go with Meth. I'm going to have to say Ghostface Killer because I play Ghostface Killer, you know what I mean? Well, how about you? Uh, it's probably the same. I have an emotional relationship with, with uh, the character Raekwon, so, yeah. Well, that's great, and I feel like all the members of the Wu-Tang Clan are amazing. Individually, too, they're all great, but when they're together, they're spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Now, I agree. I mean, I think... The whole whole point of this season and just the show in general is just to show brotherhood, everybody coming together and connecting and, and you know, just seeing how much more powerful we are together. So you, you're right, right about that. I feel like everyone can learn from that lesson that we should always stick together with someone that cares about us. Absolutely. Uh, here we go. This one's this one drama start. Uh, I, think, I think I know I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna just say uh, you guy because I can relate so much to him. Um, I'm from the same hood from him, Brownsville, Brooklyn. Uh, so I'm going to go with you, yeah. You. Hey, shout out to Brooklyn. Uh-huh, East New York, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, from Brooklyn, too. Oh, where? Yeah. That's why we get along, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's your favorite member and why? I mean, you know, Master Killer goes without being said, but I think lyrically, I'm going to have to go with Inspector Deck. I, I, I think whenever Inspector Deck gets on a track, it's like he sets it off and he, he sets the tone. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's what I think makes Wu-Tang so great. It's like you got this group of nine, that they're all individually great, but when they come together, they make something even more powerful, you know, which is, which is I think, something that I feel like, you know, the younger generation should, you know, piggyback on for sure. Yeah. What do you feel is Wu-Tang's biggest contribution to hip-hop's culture? I feel like Wu-Tang Brotherhood and, you know, the way they came together to show people that, like, you can do it, you can change your life, you know, if you came together. I think, um... Just they whole style, the lingo, the um, just them as a as a unit. I think it was probably the most influential group ever. I feel like the biggest contribution was the music, but also the spirituality behind what they were rapping about. Yeah, I think their biggest contribution was their own energy that they they provided. I feel like just being so inspiring, just having people just following their goals and their dreams. You know, no matter what your uh, your situation is, you know. You can do it. And they trendsetters too, you know. Who who was putting kung fu with, with rap at that time? Like who who thought to do that? Only Wu Tang. And who thought to have nine members in their group and everybody still be just as successful as the group? Obviously, you know, the season will you'll see that we all had our struggles individually, right? But it just showed how people, especially, you know, minorities, young black men coming together for a common cause, it just showed what we can really do when we put our minds together and, and you know, not really limit ourselves or let beef or ego get in the way, but really just work hard on our craft and come together, you know? Right, that's a great message. Be creative in your, own, in your own way. You don't gotta follow anybody's footsteps, you know, just be you. Right, and I agree with both of you guys because that's a great message, and I feel like everyone can learn from that. The power of brotherhood, the power of togetherness, you know what I'm saying? You, so, you see what Nine Cats on a mission did. They took over the world, literally. Right, working together as a team, and that, that's a great lesson that everyone should be able to learn. No matter how old you are, no matter who you are, Absolutely. you should always learn about brotherhood, sisterhood, about just being together with Word. someone and just making sure that put all our differences aside and we can work together. Absolutely.
Absolutely. I mean, even down to the the wallabies, you know, Ghostface, Ghostface put that on the the blue and cream wallabies right. and stuff like that, influencing fashion and music and and sound and everything. Yeah. We also yeah. talk about that in the show. Like, I think that's episode one. I think we like, yeah, this that this that that woo, yeah, that the woo, the woo elegance. You know what I mean? We was on, woo elegance. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's that like that new. I see they you was, got some woo elegance yeah. yourself, Jazzy. Hey, yeah. I tried. I tried today. I really tried. I like it. Yeah. Well, I like how you guys look too. I mean, you guys both look yeah. dazzling. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What was your favorite part about making Wu Tang an American saga? Just spending time with these cats all day. You know what I'm saying? Um, honestly, like, you know, the Wu Tang set was like no other set I've ever been on. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, we we took a lot of risks and we 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 loved what we were doing. All of us loved coming to work. All of us, you know, you know, it's it's great when you tell a story when you're telling a story that everybody loves and enjoys. Like I'm talking, including the crew, the cameraman, hair and makeup. Like you know, everybody loves Wu Tang. You know what I'm saying? So we're all coming in trying to make the best possible work. So like just being in that kind of environment is priceless. Right. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Well, what about you? My favorite part of uh, filming this was filming it in my hood, Staten Island. So that was, besides rapping the lyrics of Genius and Jizza, but we actually filmed where I'm from and live. So that was like by far the best thing in the world. With the whole experience, but really season three, being able to like reenact certain videos that I'm a fan of and videos I grew up watching, like Triumph, like just certain stuff we reenacted that I was really familiar with, that was that was my favorite part. I think my favorite part was just working with all my brothers right here and, and, and building on Everything that we laid, the foundation from season to season, just continuing to grow and continuing to, you know, just tell a very, very important story to the culture. So that was my favorite part. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm just happy to be involved and meet guys like Sadiq and uh, get to work with Aston and everybody else, TJ, Janel, Damani, um, Dave East, et cetera. We, we've been, uh, I've been able to learn from everybody and I'm just thankful the message and then it is very powerful well guys i'm here with tj adams and davies and we're having a great time and until next time jazzing out yeah. <laughs>